Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching today. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. We are playing through campaign and we are about to hop into Oregon, the second to last little level on our campaign series here. So as always, if you have been enjoying the series, if you've clicked on this video for the first time, whatever the case may be, leave a like down below. It really does help me out and I greatly appreciate the support. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in to Oregon. First reports were from Seattle Tacoma Airport's air traffic control, but now we're getting radar hits from Portland International. So they're traveling south. Probably because of the weather. Agreed, they're migrating. But what happens if one of these animals decides to play chicken with a commercial airliner? This is the modern world and the prehistoric one on a collision course. That doesn't sound good. Collision course? All right. Sounds like we're going to be dealing with some flyers. If so... Only do what they say they can, we're going to need facilities in place for the flyers when they arrive. Let's start with some Avery domes and a hatchery. Oh, we also need an expedition center. And as you heard, time is not on our side. All right, so what I did was do a little bit of research because we actually have to unlock the aviary hatchery and the aviary dome, but we can definitely get an expedition center and a response facility down. So we'll do that first. Let's go ahead and put this, I think, over here and connect that up with the path. That way we can check on our flyers once they're here and then an expedition center. Uh, maybe we can squeeze this in over here. I actually really like, look at this, the hitboxes for the facilities, you can pretty much get them right next to each other, which is pretty fantastic. Um, it's nice to be able to kind of squeeze them in as much as possible, right? And they don't have to have all this empty, weird space around each other, which is pretty cool. All right, so that's Expedition Center. We've got the uh, response facility all done. We're waiting for this research. Let's go ahead and take a look at the map while we're waiting. Check this out. What is the actual buildable area? Okay, so decent amount, decent amount. We won't use up nearly all of this, but that is a decent amount of, of build space. I love the backdrop and all the details. Like we can't build over here. This is literally just as a background backdrop. I, I love, I love the variety too. Like it's not just all mountains like this all the way around. You get over here and there's some water, other mountain. Obviously it's just, it's really, really cool. Really, really cool. All right, so our research is done. I'll stop jibber jabbering. Let's get an aviary in. I think we'll do kind of a, a big aviary out here. I wanna make a really, fairly large one that way we can kind of get our flyers in and uh, get a nice look at them so I think we'll do I think we'll do that is kind of a cool cool shape I don't know what what I'm building or anything like that but that's all right we'll go ahead and put a, a hatchery here and that way maybe we can get a viewing center over here or something like that and get the majority of the enclosure in there how actually let's just attach this straight diagonal like so is not not so bad and let's complete this just so it looks looks a little nice. There we go, beautiful. <laughs> we still care about the aesthetics, right? Bring this out as if it would continue Ready into another part of the park. We could send there we go. Expeditions for remote capture. These creatures can cover a lot of ground from the air, so we should snap to it. All right, let's fly the not so friendly skies. The not so friendly skies. Okie dokie. Select scientist to oversee. We are going to get some. Pterodons. Pterodons? Pterodons. I think that's how you say it. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and send you. Please go get our first flyers. And then... We have captured flyers ready to deliver. Have them brought to the aviary hatchery by our transport team. We'll then release them into the domes. And by release, you mean contain? Yes. In a controlled environment and under our supervision and care. Excellent. We should be on schedule to deliver assets to the other site. Very cool. Let's, while we're waiting for them, let's get some water, water back over here so we can give them their feeders. And maybe let's do, maybe let's do a little one over here as well. And that way we can give them, give them some different spaces, right? If we get some different, different animals in here, they might want 
want their own space. Wow, we can go right up. Can we go out? Wow, the water will even go out. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. Okay, very cool. I want some forest in here too. Can we give this like a backdrop? We can. Can I get some tall trees? What if I do it over here? Yeah, there we go. Nice tall trees. This is so cool. <laughs> I love that we can terraform in here. In fact, actually, I'm pretty sure we can also like actually, yes, actually terraform. That's pretty cool. Get some hills and some variation in here. I don't know how much time they're going to be spending on the ground, but does this actually continue out as well? It does, but I don't think that's as high as you can go. That makes sense. So you can't go up past the, uh, past the grate here, but that's still really cool. And then let's get some rocks too. A little bit of detail in here. Just while we're waiting for them, I'm pretty sure they're ready to be delivered, but I'm having fun. We're going to place rocks. <laughs> we're going to place rocks and make it all nice and nice and pretty. And we can change the axis on here, change them around. Super cool. Get rocks kind of all over the place here. Uh, maybe a smaller one. Yeah, maybe smaller ones out, out into the water is pretty cool. Like that, like so. Check it out. We could put one in the water out here. I wish the only thing I would change, only thing I would change is that if we could actually put these touching each other, or like inside each other, you know what I mean? We can get some different um, variation that way and make like really, really large rock formations. But still, placing individual rocks like this is still a, uh, a win in my opinion. All right, our pterodons are here. We got five of them. Let's go ahead and transport them into the aviary here. Perfect. How do they enter the aviary? Aha, here they are. Okay, they're gonna drop into the hatchery. That's right, they're gonna drop into the hatchery and then they'll come out here. Let's speed it up a little bit because we got five flyers to enter. Look at you. How cool are you? Look at that. I love the color. Look at the red orange on the bottom of the wings. And then the red that kind of goes up the face a little bit. And then this, it's a called the, like a crest, right? On their head. Really cool. And the animations for these guys. Oh, you're going to land. You're going to spend some time on the ground. You're lonely. Sorry, right, we got more flyers coming in for you. Uh, let's add those feeders so that you have something to eat. Because that is something I would forget. Let's put one over there. And then can we sneak one into this water? We can there we go. We can have two little two little areas for them. That's perfect. Awesome. And we are just waiting for three more to be delivered. These guys look so funny when they're being transported. <laughs> their wings just flop down like that. And they have them by their, their neck and their two feet straight out. They like hold them like a little X. <laughs> Pretty funny. Anyway, you're still hanging out on the ground. Very cool. What are you doing down here? Really cool. Love that we get to play with some flyers in this one. A little bit of a different different thing, right? Playing with uh, terrestrial dinosaurs so far, and now we get to see the flyers. Ooh, it's going to start to snow. How cool is that? Oh, you're going to get a fish. Looks like we might be getting things under control. I would say famous last words. But given the number of times that I could have used this very phrase over the years, I'm going to go with, uh, quote, predictable unquote last words instead dr malcolm why are you contacting us same thing as always the dinosaurs and my obsessive need to witness the car crash when it happens it's good to hear from you again dr malcolm <laughs> ah dr dua you're now increasing the uh, so-called intelligence part of the cia if i'm to uh, understand correctly we do what we can yes Yes, we do what we can, and sometimes more than we should. Interesting times, and I mean times as the dinosaurs are living in ours. Should they be here? No. Are they? Yes. Ergo, they should. And the hidden hand of chaos is revealed. It's what else remains hidden that's concerning me at the moment, Doctor. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, yes. And that's why I've brought somebody with me to help shed some light in this regard, Mr. Isaac Clement. 
Yeah, a specialist of, uh, of the spectacular. Uh, you should be hearing from him soon. These dinosaurs require feeders if they're to stay healthy. Stay on top of it. Stay on top of it. All righty. Thank you, guys. And Dr. Malcolm, always, always the optimist. Hey, I'm Isaac Clement. Dr. Malcolm should have mentioned me earlier. We have some specific requirements, including a ranger team to gather information and monitor the animals within the aviary. A viewing gallery is also on our list. So, now it's on yours. <laughs> One step ahead of you there, Isaac. All right, we got our viewing gallery here, and these guys actually sit on top of it. Is there glass right here? I feel like, oh, there is. Okay, you can barely see it right there when the light ref reflects. For a second there, it looked like it was just the bars, and these guys could 100% fit through these bars. <laughs> they could 100% eat people standing on that viewing platform if there wasn't glass. I mean, I feel like they could potentially break the glass maybe we'll just say that it's it's tempered really thick glass <laughs> i've been thinking when you think it makes me nervous no no seriously why the flyers uh okay i'm not following you dr malcolm starts contacting dr dua from who knows where when these flying reptiles become an issue why because they introduce a unique danger and he's concerned yeah that's that's probably it. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Owen. For now, we should make sure the satisfaction levels for the flyers is high. That's verifiable data we can use. Forget the conspiracy angle. Hello? We're chasing prehistoric animals, Claire. Reality ain't what it used to be. We have some happy flyers. You can see it just checked off over there. Where'd they go? They were all 100% happy. Yeah, Aha. you're right, Dr. Malcolm. Uh, it's, it's sort of my thing. The facility is functioning as anticipated. We have enough assets in the pipeline that we should be able to move forward soon. Right now we're putting out brush fires, but this, this is an inferno that could engulf the world. Your concern is noted. For now, I suggest we focus on this location. It's about high welfare and visibility for the animals. And safety for the DFW staff, of course. Learning to coexist with the dinosaurs is a process. We're getting there. <sighs> and if we don't, where's that leave us? We will have created an apocalypse born of our arrogance. Humanity versus the dinosaurs. And honestly, I'm not sure who deserves to win. All right, so we sent our scientist off to get some tropic nathus. We can also get some dimorphodons or some pteranodons. So those are gonna be our three species that we have to go bring back. So I figured the tropic nathic first. I love the snout on them. I think they're such cool, uh, cool animals. So I wanna get them back in uh, to check them out, see how they look inside the aviary. Let's see. Uh, maybe some fibrous ground cover. I just kind of want to play around with, with decorating it in here. I don't know if they, if they like it or not. So I should probably, I should probably check before I just go, go off adding a whole bunch of stuff, huh? Yeah, they don't really care. Cool. They just need some rocks some water, some open space. Cool. Very, very cool. Um, let's add maybe a little bit of rock. I know they already have enough, but like some rock around if the edges. If we want to find success, we must look to the sky. That means more flyers and more species of flyers in the aviaries. Flap, not flop, huh? 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 <laughs> ha ha, Finch. So funny. <laughs> Flap, not flop. Yes, we're gonna get more flyers in here. Just adding a little bit of terraforming, a little bit of terrain painting, making it look beautiful. I think, I think taking the time in these these enclosures is gonna be one of my favorite parts here. All right, so let's speed up time a little bit. I want it to be daytime again. I want to be able to see see my flyers. Looks like the sun is coming up right now, so that should hopefully happen sooner rather than later. But we've got just the one in here so far and almost ready for the Tropic Nathus. Yeah, that's the first one I sent out, Tropic Nathus. And hopefully I'm saying those right. I did practice, <laughs> so hopefully I'm saying those right uh, and uh, pronouncing them correctly. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty cool, the ground cover and the light. Ah, uh, did we get all four? Aw, oh, man, one escape. That's all right, we got three. Let's go ahead and transport. 
our flyers into here, our flying reptiles. I kind of like that they call them flyers. <laughs> it's easy. It's easy to remember. Nice to say. All right. I'm going to add a little more trees over here, I think. I love how these trees look in the aviary. Looks super cool. Look at that. Love it. And then that way, that kind of like hides, right? That's like the entrance. We're thinking about thinking about habitats here. This is the viewing gallery. I know this is just for research and such stuff like that, but that's all right. I'm going to pretend that that is uh, important like it is in, in zoo enclosures. <laughs> it kind of hides where they, the animals enter from. Let's go ahead and see what the entrance looks like for these guys. Just going to do one at a time. I think, oh, there goes our little drone. Where are you? There you are. Hello, you. Look at your snout. Look at the red. And then the gray. Ooh, you're pretty big, too. Super pretty. Look at the flying animations on you. Very cool. Are you going to go eat? I want to see you catch a fish. I want to see what your eating animations are. Nope, I think you're just going to go land on the uh, the viewing gallery. <laughs> they love to sit on the viewing gallery. They pretty much all just sit over here. Look, there's there's some over there, too. It's like their favorite spot to sit. Oh, look, these guys are sleeping. I don't think I ever noticed that before. That they're like, they're asleep with their little heads down. That's pretty cool. Got their little faces tucked in. They look like little gargoyles. Look at that. Their wings, like, stick straight out. Huh. Interesting. Okay, cool. All right. Well, we got the Tropic Nathus. I forgot. We need to send out another uh, expedition and get more. Should we go for the Pteranodon or the Dimorphodon? I think I'm going to go for the Dimorphodon. So we'll send you and we'll send you. And that way you can go out together and go get some Dimorphodons for us. If we need one more, we can go for the Pteranodon. But I kind of want to see the, the Dimorphodon inside the aviary, see how they look. We'll speed up time because right now we're just waiting for dinosaurs to get in uh, so that we can get our asset rating all the way up. But let's see, I'm pretty sure the Dimorphodons are a lot smaller too, so it'll be interesting to see them. Oh, hello, you're going to eat. You got yourself a fishy. Let's click on this one. Did you get one? Oh, I missed. Oh, no, he didn't. He got one. Good job. The fish in here are huge. The ones that they're catching are much smaller. I wonder if the fish size differs depending on what size the the, uh, the animal is that's catching them. Let's see. Let's check on your other buddies. Yep, just sitting on the aviary, the viewing gallery. <laughs> just hanging out. What are you doing? Hanging out as well? That's you as well. Just cycling through all these guys. Oh, every single one of them is on the viewing gallery. You guys are being boring. Oh, are you going to go catch a fish? I wanted to see your your um, your eating animation. Oh, are you going to go? Super cool. When they get in the sun, look at that. And they're gliding. Oh, you have a bit of a pattern on your back. How cool is that? I didn't notice that. He looked pretty much all gray from the bottom, but they've got a little pattern on their back. That's pretty cool. All right, we are almost, almost ready for new animals. This little thing is ticking down over here on the side. Ready, steady, let's go. Woohoo. Live capture, six Dimorphodon found. Ooh, zero evaded. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and transport all six of you guys in here. Then they'll, they'll line up all the little helicopters will form an assembly line there and we'll get our Dimorphodons in. Let's go ahead into the aviary and see if we can see them. Come on out. There we go. Hello. I wanted to click on you. Come back. Look at you. I like, ooh, I like the wings on this one. The dark that kind of goes into the light on the edge and then the, the subtle kind of green in the center to the long tail. Very cool. Look at that. And I love that they put the details. You can see the bone structure like on their arms and stuff like that versus like where the wings are and whatnot. You can really make out make out their um, their body shape. And look at how small they are <laughs> compared to everybody else. They're such tiny little ones. Such tiny little flyers. How cute though. Your tail's kind of clipping through the glass into the viewing gallery though. That's kind of a bummer, but that's okay. Very cool. All right. So, oh, that was it. So that is our 18 
1,800 asset points or whatever it was. Let's see, are you comfortable? Uh, you are, 94% comfort. So all captured flyers have 80% comfort. So it should be, should be good to go as soon as, wow, we've speed this up here. We've got two, three more helicopters waiting to, to release the little dimorphodons, but then everybody should be happy. That's pretty cool. And then I just, I just look at it from here. Look, I love this. And you see them all flying around. You know, I wonder how many we can actually fit into an aviary. There's probably, probably not a cap, I would imagine. Obviously the dinosaurs, the flyers would get really upset uh, the more we put in here once we kind of get past their, their uh, population limits and stuff like that. But I wonder how many we can actually put in there. Might have to test that out when I get to sandbox mode and just kind of see <laughs> see how many flyers we can put in one one aviary. But this is such a beautiful, beautiful habitat. I mean, I could spend much more time on this, making it a little bit more detailed than this. But just the very simple, the individual rocks, the water, the the little bit of terrain elevation makes this look so good. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so everybody's at 80%. We're about to get that all done. Is there anything next after this? Nope, woohoo, we did it. <laughs> we did it. All right, so thank you guys for watching. We're going to watch the little bit of the kind of outro and cinematic thingamajiggy uh, before we end the video. So let's get right onto that. Even contrived, planned, and managed beauty has its charms, but what appeals to the senses is the asymmetry of nature. Its rough edges, its mistakes, a tree that is both out of place and exactly where it needs to be. Much like the dinosaurs. Excuse me, Dr. Malcolm. There are reports of a large herd of subject animals roaming freely in Yosemite. To my point, chaos. Don't you just love it? All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. Next time, we're going to jump into California, the very last episode there. And as always, if you did enjoy, please do leave a like down below, uh, comment, let me know what you thought, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.